Suppose initially Joe spends $16 on pizza and beer. The price of pizza is $2 per slice, and the price of beer is $1 per bottle. Joe chooses four slices of pizza and eight bottles of beer. The question asks, which of the following is true of the amount of money necessary to fully compensate Joe so he can reach the same level of utility if the price of beer increases to $2 per bottle? Well, the answer is $8 is more than needed since he could buy the same bundle but does not. Well, let's look at what that means. He, he will want to substitute some of the more expensive beers for pieces of pizza instead of staying at the same bundle of four slices and eight bottles. So we know that $8 would allow him to continue to buy the same bundle he was buying, which was the four slices of pizza and the eight bottles of beer. But now that beer is doubled in price, he may want to substitute some of those more expensive bottles of beer for pieces of pizza. And this is what you want to remember because all consumers, if you, if you want to remember their utility functions, were that curve. So we can assume that as the price of beer is increasing like that, he's going to want to substitute some of that beer out for pizza.